Hello, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. So I have been attempting to do readings on each of the portal days. Those are the double digit days. And uh, yesterday <laughs> was 12-12 and uh, I was busy putting up my Christmas tree. So um, we're gonna do the 12-12 uh, energy today and uh, do a card reading on it and look at the a little bit of the numerology associated with that. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to start with is the numerology of the 1212 portal. Now the 1212 portal vibrates just the day and the month vibrates to a 24. And the 24 is a 24 six vibration, which deals with, um, which is the queen of wands. And so innate in the 1212 itself is the energy of responsibility the energy of holding um, holding your light and holding your spirit and sustaining that spirit. Um, when we add the universal year of five, which is what the universal year is for 2021, we get a 2911 vibration. And that is actually the vibration of the three of wands, the three of wands. And the three of wands is a vibration of opportunity. It's a vibration of waiting for your ships to come in. And so there's a certain vibration here with this 1212 portal of, of things that you have put out coming back to you. And so if you've put out good things and you've put out helpful things and you've done your, you've done your due diligence, that the, the, the things will come back to you um, in that way. If you, on the other hand, have put out lies and, and, and negative vibration, and, and you know some people put out way more negative vibrations than others, is, is gonna be what, what you get back. And so there is that vibration. And of course, the 2911 is a master number. In fact, the word light vibrates to a 2911. So we're looking at shining our light. Um, this gentleman's here standing on the cliffs with the, with the, with the ships coming in could as, as well be a lighthouse, right? Because this is the vibration. This is the place where we have the birth of light. Now, um, um, we're gonna look at the Kabbalah uh, on the tree of life and where this sits on the tree of life. So let me uh, share that with you. So here we have um, the Kabbalah, the associated chakras, uh, and I will show you where the, uh, the 2911 sits. Now the 2911 is the three of wands and all the threes in the tarot fall right here in a place called Baina. Baina is associated with the planet Saturn. Baina is the place of the divine feminine. And so the color associated with Baina is black. And so there's a certain amount of uh, darkness that we have to contend with when we're dealing with Baina. And so it's within the darkness that we find the inner light. Baina is the place of gestation. It is the seed under the ground. It is the child within the womb of the mother. Baina is associated with the divine mother. And so this is where she sits. Now, as far as what... Um, what pillar she sits in, she sits in the pillar of severity. And the pillar of severity is also known as the pillar of the future. And so this vibration in its nature is really about creating the future, creating the future. Now it is located in the third eye. So this 1212 uh, portal activates that, that third eye vibration. So as with all portals that open us up to a different level of consciousness or a different, different, different level, excuse me, of awareness. Uh, we have the third eye associated with this. So let's go to the astrology. 
so what I've done here is I've chosen uh, to do this 1212 gateway um, at uh, one minute after midnight at in Greenwich, England. Uh, Greenwich time is considered sort of the world point. So I thought it would be most useful to look at it at, at this. So here we have the, the astrological point, right? The, the astrological picture of the 1212 portal as we move into the 1212 portal at the world, uh, at what's considered zero, uh, z the beginning, right? The Greenwich Mean Time. And a couple of things, um, a couple of things uh, sort of stick out at me. First of all, uh, we have a very tight square to Neptune. Now, uh, the 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 um, the Neptune Sun square last quarter crisis and consciousness square did occur on the twelve twelve gateway, and so this is important. That 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 twelve twelve I means excuse me that last quarter square between the sun, which is the planet of illumination and Neptune, which is the planet of obfuscation, okay, is a crisis in belief. Can we believe our own eyes, right? So this energy opens up the possibilities of something that we perhaps hadn't seen coming. Now, for some of us, it opens up the possibilities of things we have seen coming. So we knew that there was going to be some sort of crisis created here because we're dealing with squares and a type of square between these two planets is a crisis in belief or a crisis in consciousness so it would be a crisis where we would have to change our minds about something or that our minds would be challenged to let go of an old paradigm and sort of move into a new paradigm so there's a, a, par a pyramidal shift here okay uh, to begin with. We also have Mars here in the second to the last degree of Scorpio. Uh, Mars is uh, very powerful in Scorpio. Mars is an energy about getting down to the um, getting down to the root of an issue, uncovering that which has been hidden. And it is also in a very close conjunction to that south node, which happens to be stationary at the time uh, that we move into this 12 tail portal. So what is being uncovered is lies or truth from the past, because the, the Sagittarius energy, along with the Gemini energy, brings a certain amount of truth and lies, right? What is the truth? What is the lies? With the square to Neptune, there are things hidden. So, the, so this this twelve twelve portal really talks about things that have been hidden and things that maybe we knew about that are are just coming out. They're just all coming out. Things are coming to a head. Things are coming to a head. And of course, we're going to be having a full moon uh, shortly after this twelve twelve portal, and then. Um, on Christmas Eve, we're going to be having that last Saturn Uranus square. And that is really when things um, really come to a head. So this 1212 portal, to a certain extent, does bring a certain amount of awareness that some of us have had, some of us perhaps haven't. Um, we also have a trine between the moon and Mars, the moon being in Aries. So this Aries moon is disposited by this uh, Mars in Scorpio. And this moon is also trying pretty close trying to the south node of the moon, making it a, a sextile to the to the north node of the moon. So there's opportunity here. And then on the other side, where we have the north node, we have Ceres in Gemini. And Ceres is an energy of reaping, right? It is it is a, a scythe, I think that's how you say it. I always make that mistake, so I apologize for those who have corrected me before. Uh, I have to write it down. Uh, I have to make like a little sign for myself. Um, and she is reaping, she is reaping. And what is she reaping? She's reaping information. She's reaping information. And so this is all aligned with the secrets coming out, the secrets coming out. Um, 
we also have here, let me see, we have Jupiter square these nodes, right? Jupiter at 26 degrees of, of uh, Aquarius, which incidentally is on the moon of the United States in the Sibley chart. So Jupiter to the moon is sort of bringing uh, bringing something to the people of the US, right? To, to, the, to, the, uh, to we the people, okay? Uh, a lesson perhaps, uh, a, a, a truth perhaps. Um, we also have Mars square Jupiter here. Mars squaring Jupiter, it is a last quarter crisis and consciousness square again. So we're taking action based on information and truth that's coming out. Um, that is part of the picture of this 1212 portal as well. We also have Venus uh, just coming off a conjunction that occurred the day before um, on 1211, on the 11th of December. We had the first of three conjunctions of Saturn and I mean, um, Pluto and Venus in Capricorn. And she's gonna be making two more of these, once while she's retrograde and then once again, when she's direct. The one that occurs retrograde occurs in December and the one that's direct occurs in March. So we're gonna be working with this reevaluation of our values and our relationship to power and our relationship to corporations. And our so there's all of this exposure of, really who is, who are the puppet masters? Who are the puppet masters here? So there's a lot being uncovered in this 1212 portal. Um, and it's a very exciting time uh, to be alive. We need to keep our third eye open through this period. Okay, so let me stop this share and I am going to do a card reading. And um, I think I'm gonna use my Druid deck here. Uh, I have my little Ona bag. Thank you again, Ona. She's always sending me the cutest things. She's so creative. We just have to figure out how to get more people to be able to get these. <laughs> I'm using a big deck. This is my Druid uh, craft. Let's see if I can do some shuffles here. Okay, good. Sometimes these big decks, I really struggle shuffling them. <laughs> There's a couple of things um, to note. And, um, and I apologize for not knowing the name. But there is a gentleman, he's a lawyer, who found Chevron guilty uh, for uh, polluting indigenous... Um, indigenous land in Ecuador. And somehow um, he found himself in jail and, uh, you know, for a misdemeanor in a federal prison. And he was, I think, there for 45 days and he was just let out of prison, but he's not, um, he's in under house arrest right now. But, um, and, it, and it's sort of um, like he's out, and he's exposing the system, the prison system. One of the things that uh, will be happening with this uh, Pluto return for the US um, is that Pluto in Capricorn is the prison industrial complex. And so that will get exposed as well during this Pluto return. And that is, or I mean, that has been going on for a while, but something else we can look forward to. <laughs> well, certainly I'm sure there are plenty of prisoners who would look forward to prison reform. And, you know, not making prison, um, uh, you know, whenever you have a profit, whenever profit is like the major thing, there's no justice. The profit and justice do not go together. Okay, let's take a look. 1212 portal. We have the lady. This is the Empress card, the Empress. Empress, uh, the Empress card is associated with Venus, Venus. And remember, Venus just came off that conjunction to Pluto. Venus and Pluto is a very interesting combination, sort of connected to the, uh, the Persephone um, Pluto myth, uh, where he abducted her and brought her down to hell and made him the queen, made her the queen of heaven. 
um, but her mother was so distraught. Ceres, right? Ceres at that North Node reaping, right? Was so distraught that she um, she petitioned Zeus to to speak to uh, uh, their brother because it was actually he or uh, Pluto was their brother, and um, they ended up having Persephone uh, half the time in the Hell Realms and half the time in um, in, on, in the upper world. And that is this sort of the seasons, right? Winter, when Persephone, who's the symbol of spring, um, goes underground and finds her power, actually. She, she, she goes from being a nymph above the ground to a queen below the ground. So this symbology of a woman having to visit her shadow. And of course, the Venus retrograde is all about Venus going down into the hell realms uh, as she conjoins the sun and then comes back up as the morning star, but she's the evening star now and will come back as the morning star. So she goes through the, the seven veils and then, then re raises back up with the seven veils. There's all kinds of symbology here. But Venus is about what we value and what's important to us. And I think that's the core and the key here. This card is associated with Venus. And on the tree of life, remember we had Bina up here uh, the black, the black circle. On the other side, there was a, um, I guess a, a, a gray circle. That's Hokma, and the path between that, which lies right here, is the path of the Empress. And so it's about creative visualization. What are you visualizing? Remember, um, Neptune was square the Sun, and so there is an energy here of imagination, illuminating your imagination. And so we need to figure out what is it that we are focusing on? What are we creatively uh, imagining? And what, what kind of world do we want to create? There's a, there is a lie out there that we have no power to do that. We, we're, at the, we're at the mercy of the government. We're at the mercy of the oligarchs. We're at the mercy of the drug companies. We're at the mercy. We are not at the mercy. We are at the mercy if we believe we are at the mercy of them. Now, does it mean that we can just magically say, I'm not at the mercy and then it's all fine? No, it takes work. Everything takes work. And we have to break through the lies, break through the, the, uh, the limit, but not necessarily by disregarding reality, but by keeping your feet on the ground and then transcending up through the dimensions and bringing that fifth dimensional energy down to earth. Right, we are conduits of that. Let's see what's challenging this. Our choices, the lover's card. It's all about choice. What are you choosing to do? Uh, 2022, I'm going to be doing a, um, a 2022 um, special report. <laughs> um, and I'm calling it the year of choice. So Keep your eyes peeled for that. At the root, we have the nine of pentacles. Now I generally don't read cards upside down. So I'm gonna just do it this way. However, this upside down uh, can, can feel like you're not in charge of your destiny. Here we have the nine, uh, we have the woman, the self-made woman in her garden. This is about, this, this really talks to you of that, that Venus energy, right? Venus in Capricorn. I mean, this card is actually associated with Virgo, but I also, can, I also see this energetically as a Venus in Capricorn. Somebody who has created their own reality, somebody who has worked to create the life that they, that they want. And that's at the root here. So at the root of this 1212 portal is what, what do you want to create? What do you want your garden to look like? She also has a falcon here. And so she has the ability to stay in her garden. And if the falcon is a familiar, um, she can also, he can fly and he can see what's above. So it's about a big, it's about feet on the ground and then a vision 
uh, from the heavens. Let's see what's in the past. We have a rebirth here. So we have been reborn. We have gone through a lot. We have gone through a lot of death and rebirth. This, this, this is a, a 20 over two vibration. This is a Pluto vibration. This is about the awakening and it's in the past. So it means we have awoken already. We're awake, we're awake, guys, we're awake. In the sky, illumination, illumination. The towers will fall, folks. This doesn't mean that it's destruction for us, but the, the, the lies, the facade, the things that are not true will fall. And it's spirit that's creating the, it, you know, it's getting struck by lightning. Okay, this is, um, and this can mean many things. I mean, we just had um, in uh, Kentucky, was that on 1212? Was that the day before? Um, and that whole area, not just Kentucky, but Missouri and, 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 and um, Arkansas, I think. And, and I apologize, there's another, maybe Illinois was down there in that area there. Uh, where they had a sudden out of nowhere, you know, event. These are the kinds of things that happen, you know, um, and were like awoken to something. Maybe they were awake to um, climate change, right? Maybe maybe that's what uh, they they were awakened to, or maybe they were awakened to the fact that now there's this utter destruction and the government is there to help them. Maybe they're awakened to the idea that, well, perhaps the government isn't so bad. <laughs> Maybe they really are here to help us, you know? So it depends, you know, there, there's all kinds of awakenings happening. And this is going to continue, right? The 12-12. Um, and in the 12-12 the portal, in the immediate future, we have strength. So this requires strength on our part. It requires us to stand strong. This is a Leo card. This is about standing in our power. This is being a leader. This is letting your letting your light shine. Leo is ruled by the sun. Leo is ruled by the sun. And she is standing here holding her hand on a boar. And this is, you know, I'm not sure which I'd be more frightened of, a lion or a boar <laughs> coming at me. Um, I almost feel like I'd have a better chance with a lion, although that's probably just my own <laughs> craziness. Um, but this is a very powerful symbol and also a symbol of the goddess. The boar is a symbol, the pig is a symbol, the sow is a symbol of the goddess and her fecundity and her ability to feed us and our ability to protect us and to protect her children. So this is a very powerful card to come, the strength card. This card is also located in the throat chakra on the tree of life. And so this is about speaking your truth, bringing your voice, co-creating. This is the, this is the, um, this is the throat chakra. This is where we co-create with spirit. This is where we co-create through vibration. And so the things that you're saying, the way that you're expressing yourself matter, they matter. So watch your words because what you sow, you shall reap. That's another energy of this card. How it's seen from the outside, we still have, uh, we still have things that we have to fight. We, we, we're not out of the woods yet. We're not out of the woods yet, folks. Our domestic situation, the King of Cups. This is about compassion, taking care of one another. The King of Cups is is some is a is a masculine energy that loves the family, not always so connected to their own emotions. Sometimes they can have rage issues with this, but this really is about protection of um, what is most sacred. And what is most sacred is our family, our love, uh, our planet. Hopes and fears, the eight of pentacles. Um, the eight of pentacles is really about doing the work and it's not a fear. People want to do the work. I think when you're in this situation where you know, they're lying to you saying that you don't have any power. 
you just want to be able to do something that's going to make a difference, right? For your life or for somebody else's life. You want to help the indigenous people of Ecuador. You want to help the guy who's, who's under house arrest, the, the lawyer there. You want to help, um, you know, the people in Kentucky. You want to help yourself. You want to, you want to, you want to, you know, stop climate change. You want to see, you want to stop seeing these polluters getting away with it. We want to do that. Well, we can do it. We can do it. We do it living the best life that we can being aware of how what we do has consequence. And the outcome is the princess of the of cups. This is good news. This is good news coming. Let's see if we can pick a major arcana. We have the king of wands and the sun. So we have an illumination around um, the king of wands is, is power could be our own power, our own power to shine our light, right? So we have illumination. So the big thing with this, this um, 12 toe portal is, is illumination, is illumination. Underneath it, we have the sword of justice. We have the chariot and we have justice. Justice is here, justice matters and justice is coming the lies are being exposed the lies are being exposed and we need to keep our third eyes open our hearts open our throats open so we can speak the words and vibrate the life we want to have and our feet firmly on the ground we have power beyond our imagining but it's not power over, it's the power that comes from within. And we need to find that. The Baina is the place of darkness where we find the inner light. This is an awakening, but we have to first walk, walk through the darkness and find that light within. And that's what this 1212 portal looks like uh, from the cards, from the numerology, and from the astrology. I hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. I am going to be doing a 2022 special, um, special presentation. Um, and I will be charging for that. Um, and you can go, um, I'll put a link below where you can, um, you can connect with my website. Um, and we will be uh, putting that up. I that will, will will not come up to will not be up today, but it should be up tomorrow. So if you're interested in finding what what I see happening in 2022, um, you can join me. All right, guys. Much love. Namaste. Keep your eyes open, your heart open, your ears open, and your feet on the ground, and we'll be fine. Much love.